she's a fitness gym rat. This girl, she's dialed in on her fitness. So if we were doing a health and fitness challenge, there's no reason for her to be involved. Really, I mean, right? I wouldn't be involved. I was going through a divorce and I was in a really, really hard place emotionally and writing what I was grateful for and the things that I had in my life definitely lifted me up. Um, that along with meditation, um, that, that was an amazing help to me. Um, and, and just reaching out and focusing on other people, trying to help other people. Um, sending out little texts and emails and the handwritten notes, handwritten cards to people that I care about. Um, that had a major impact on some of the people that, you know, are in my life and they were very appreciative and it was really helpful. Just the reading and the journaling and, um, you know, looking at life more positively, like the gratitude lists and stuff kind of changed that perspective for me. It took me out of being focused on all the problems to looking at, you know, there's more to this than just problems. You know, there's a lot of things in my life that are really blessings to me, but I wasn't seeing that. You know, it's that kind of can't see the forest for the trees That's type right. thing. The challenge actually gets down, takes the building blocks and gifts that you're given, accentuates them and allows you to use them and move forward and benefit professionally and on a professional level and also on a personal level. So my business actually in the last three months I have had the best three months of my practice since opening and it's really been because my patients are getting great results and I think it's really come to that realization of me that it's more about service and going above and beyond the call of duty when somebody walks in the office so it's not just the adjustment it's the interaction that adds a lot of value and my interactions are more focused to what can I give to the patient above and beyond just the adjustment in the office, but what can I, what part of myself can I give to them also? Some of the things that have improved in my life due to this challenge is I've been using some of the, some of the positive, the positive things that this light edge taught me. Like, all the little things, being nice to people so they'll be nice to you. I use that in my soccer team and now I'm the captain of, captain of my soccer team and starter. It too, so you started just as a just as a player, and now you're the cap captain and a starter. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh man! Oh my goodness! Oh, huh? And that's exciting. Everybody else is talking about losing weight. I've actually gained some weight. It's not, <laughs> it's not bad weight. It's yeah. muscle weight. Yeah. So I've gained like two pounds of muscle weight. Yeah. So, but um, this. This challenge has actually helped me a lot because before this challenge I was living in hell on earth. Yeah. I was depressed, scared, it hurt to get out of bed in the morning to go to school. But now, uh, getting up in the morning and reading all the things that I'm grateful for in my, in my little binder, it just gives me a reason to be able to get up out of bed and go to school. Is that right? And be happy. Wow. It gives me a reason to have a real smile on my face and a big one. Holy smoke. I, I have not heard this testimony, so this is, that's impressive. This guy who doesn't want to get out of bed to the captain of the soccer team, and now inspiring other people. Uh, I hope so. No, you are. Yes. Yeah, you are. Wow. I feel like the challenge has been, been uh, going really well. I'm getting pretty far into the slight edge, and I'm proud of that. Yeah. Good. And I'm not even much of a 